I didn't really notice we had a blue tarp until you pointed that out. Okay, jumping right in. Welcome to the first ever installment on how to build a PC for beginners by a beginner who's never done this before at all in any way. This will be my first time. I don't know if you remember your first time, but I remember my first time and it wasn't very, um, because I don't really know what I'm doing. And the only education I have to actually do this are like 40 hours worth of YouTube videos I've been watching over the last two months on how to build a PC, knowing that this day was gonna come. And it's not for gaming. This will not be a gaming PC. There's not even a graphics card on this table. That's how non-gaming this PC is. So I think that the build is gonna go way lot faster. I think installing Windows is gonna be hard. I'm actually intimidated by that whole process. I don't really know. I don't have a thumb drive. I don't have a thumb drive. Maybe you wanna zoom in. We have an MSI B360M Gaming Plus. The irony here, this is in a gaming uh, PC. This just happens to be a very budget friendly with high reviews with a um, M.2 slot. Uh, and I feel like I can't go wrong with the MSI quality. Processor, i5, 8400. Internal CPU of the Intel 6300, something like that. Uh, this will come in handy because we don't have a graphics card. So for this guy, Intel SSD, uh, the six series, uh, we have uh, 16 gigs of, and for power supply, we do have the 40, 450 watts bronze 80 plus, and it's all gonna go into this Thermolake case. I like it because it's gonna have a small form factor. Can you zoom out? Okay, look over here. This is where, our PCs are gonna live. We have limited space, so they need to be small. I've got my handy tools, my Phillips screwdriver, which according to Paul's hardware, this is all you need. I also have a little Leatherman with um, a blade for opening some of the packages. Periodically, like, touch something metal just to make sure I don't have any uh, electric charge. I'm not passing that onto the components. By the way, this is all from memory. So again, I've watched all these videos of people building PCs and they're, they look so much fun and rewarding and I really wanted to try. Okay, so I got the motherboard. I wanna install this, install this CPU. So this is just the included stock fan. Um, it's not great, but we're not doing a lot of uh, video rendering, game processing. Um, it does have a little bit of thermal paste. I'm gonna grab it by the sides. I know that much. There it is. This little arrow corresponds with the arrow um, that's also on this shield, this plate, which is also, I believe it's right there as well. Yeah, it's very faint, you can't even see it. There it is. You don't wanna press down at all. It should just fit right in. And then we close this guy, should just pop off. And this needs to go underneath that bolt to secure it. Wait a second. Haha. <laughs> okay. So, for those who didn't see, inside the motherboard case, there's a very tiny little screw. This is for mounting um, the M.2 SSD. And I almost missed it because it's just so tiny. This is the one that's almost like two millimeters. Um, okay, so the motherboard has this mounting screw that I unscrewed here. I'm gonna screw it in here because this is the length like this. And then this is where our little magnetic Oh, it's not magnetic. This isn't magnetic. What's going on, Ace Hardware? You told me that was magnetic. Uh, what's next? So CPU, M.2. Um, let's do let's do the memory. I feel like I feel like cracking open a cold one of memory. I'm putting in some cold, cold brew skis. Cold brew ski memories in here. You want to align this notch. And this notch is not centered. 
you can see this is centered, that's not centered. This notch helps guide. Okay. This is the CPU fan. These are a quarter turn. And I know that it mounts into the motherboard right there. But when I turn it, honestly, I don't see what it does. There's still the same amount of movement and I thought it would like clamp it down, but maybe I'll put it in and see what happens when I... Oh! Oh! That's... I get it now. I get it. So the reason why I'm not doing a graphics card, guys... One, I'm not doing any gaming. Uh, two, the internal graphics card that comes with this CPU, the i5, is the base graphics card in all of like the entry level Mac, so the iMac mini. So if it's good enough for just like basic level Mac usage, this is gonna be enough internal GPU for my office and for like light Photoshopping or InDesign work, Illustrator work, stuff like that, it's fine. And I can always upgrade down the road. I don't need to spend that money now. Okay, this is a lot smaller than I thought, which I like. Um, it, it looks really compact. There's some good airflow I can actually see through. There's some nice venting. There we go. Very quiet build. Um, but I like these two internal uh, base for two and a half inch, three and a half inch drives. Um, that's gonna make it easy for my team um, as we create user profiles on my uh, on these PCs. One drive could be dedicated to one user, vice versa. Okay, so now how do we go from here? You need to install the IO shield before we put in the mother motherboard. So maybe we do that first. Let's just get this out of the way. It's, it's, a, it's a simple win. It's a simple win, guys. It's a simple win. I feel like there's gonna be a few complex steps ahead of us with cable management and make sure everything's plugged in right. And just getting these little wins out of the way, this will be a huge boost. Huge boost. Install this guy. Look at that. Oh shit, okay. Do we put in the power supply first and then the motherboard? Does it matter? So these are the standoffs I was talking about. I know we need to install those, or at least the ones we need for this board. Okay, so I'm just inserting, I'm just screwing down. Can you get in there? Can you see it? These standoffs. So this opening is blocked by the uh, motherboard and it's really a perfect spot for the CPU power to go through and you just plug it in right there. But now since this is blocked. There we go. This is tricky. Okay, I got everything plugged in. I got my cable management for the most part where it needs to be. There's not a lot to do. I only used two zip ties. Um, so I'm just gonna snip those guys off. So the downfall with a cheap case is that there's really only two um, zip tie mounting spots. And then we're gonna put this guy on. Okay guys, this is I'm gonna do a two part video. The first part um, is this build. We're gonna turn it on, make sure power's on okay. And then I'm gonna do a part two where we go through the OS install and get it up and running. Got my old Apple keyboard. Is it gonna be powered on? There we go. Okay, you guys ready for this? Uh-oh. What? What? What am I missing? I know what happened. Okay, so the machine's not turning on. 
What it is, is I bet I got these, this power, in the wrong slot. 100% guaranteed, that's what it is. So, pulled these uh, power, like the reset, the power, like these cables from the front I.O., those are in the wrong spot. Um, so I think they're in the right spot now. One, two, three. I see lights, the fan spinning. Oh, okay. Look at that. Okay, okay. Got the CPU. It's recognizing 16 gigs of memory. Fan info is our fan installed. Look at that. Um, what fan is this? What fan is this? CPU fan one. It's running at 970 RPMs. So this CPU fan is running at 990 RPMs. It's quiet, I think it's fine. I don't think we need to adjust the speed. Okay, today we did a successful build, my first PC build of all time for the first time with you. Uh, it was a rewarding experience. I was confused for a few of the steps, but it's all pretty straightforward. Um, I was able to do it because all the great resources online. Stay tuned for part two where we install uh, Windows OS on here. Get that up and running. If you like this PC build, um, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Hit that subscribe button. Um, we've got to build five more PCs for a really cool project that I'm, I'm working on. Does that not say magnetic tip? Magnetic tip. Hardware store. This is not magnetic at all. This is just painted on. They painted on the magnetic tip. Let me get my money back.